like that. You're Is that what we're looking close, for? Very close, very, very close. You, you, it's, it's what we want to use the bundles for afterwards. Right, what would you use them for? Yes, I'm just trying to think what... Well, ins uh, heat insulators. Well, it does, yes, it serves <laughs> that purpose. <laughs> OK, <but what>? yes. <laughs> William, come know? on, tell him. It must him. be thatch screws. It must be thatch screws. Thatch rounds. It's for thatching. It's for thatching. It's a thatching needle. It's still used, isn't it, by some people? Well, I still think that the needle and the using the stook was worth a point, and I think you're worth a point for really coming in at the last minute with what it really is, is a thatching needle. OK, the next object is rather large. What about another point for being photographic? It's photographic? It must yes. be photographic because, in fact, there's a lens. Uh, in fact, through here, you can see the lens with different sizes that can be made. Yes. And, of course, there's a scale here that you can move the lens backwards and forwards, as well as one here to have whatever is being impressed on here. I think, in fact, the lights over there, you see these lights? Will flash on lines, yes. to flash onto that screen. Mm -hmm. Now something is put on there. An image comes through and is put onto this. I would have thought because the lens indeed. says 10.16 copying copying machine. Oh, it's a, it must be a copying kind. machine of some form. What sort of copying machine? All right. Well, let's let's just look then. What have we got here? Are we allowed to go through this, lot? Oh, you can do anything you like. Oh, there's yeah. a pie in here. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of dust in here. <laughs> Carbon. Is this carbon here? Yes, it's, yes. It look it looks some sort of carbon here. Can you see that? It's uh, it's carbon with other grains, sort of like looks like sugar. Do you it's actually nylon <laughs> covered with some sort of carbon? Some stuff. some sort of carbon. All right. Now what? This is an oven. I should have thought with some. So, yes, this is an asbestos, asbestos plate sheet for heating. Oops, yeah. hot. We switched it on, have we? <laughs> no, it's been on. No, no, it has. No, no. It does actually work. There's a counter here, so obviously you're cop making a number yes. of copies of a particular thing, which will be over here. What are you copying? Well, yeah, we're copying what is ever down what's there. there. Mm. And the copying processor, though, is going to be down here. It's some sort of fixing, uh, which you have to heat. You must have some sort of heat. Quick guess. We're going to hand it on to Eric, and he really is. Well, I know yes. Eric well, should know all about these things. So far, I mean, now we're copying some sort of. We're copier. copying film. Of some I want kind. to know what sort of a copy. We're copying film of some kind. It's a carbon, carbon copier. copier. Not a carbon. They've had the two minutes. It's, it's a, They've had the two minutes. It's, Come on, Eric, yeah. tell them. <laughs> well, they've missed the fact that it's on wheels. That this thing is yeah. moves slidable up and down like that, and uh, the thing they've missed is that you don't only copy, you enlarge, right? No. No, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. Eric, we knew about that. <laughs> no, the point is, how does it do it? I withdraw. <laughs> I'm a, this is the question. I, you see, it's this stuff here that I'm worried about. It's really, you're asking us, what is the uh, process? It's not a yes. Xerox machine. I haven't had time it to look at It is absolutely the very first xerographic no, no, copy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well done. It took you a long time to find that one. <laughs> that's, that's it doesn't trade. look like the one I thought that was now. what you were going to do. That's a trade name, isn't it? I will now show you how to make a copy. I think very nearly. Oh, oh, lovely. And yes, this is right. really very complicated. <laughs> and I might just be able to work it out. I've had a three week course in this, you take out your selenium plate, which you actually didn't discover, there are three in there, and you pop it in this little slot here, which will then, by pressing that button, charge it up. You use this screen to slide it in there, Bob's your uncle, you take it out, you put it in your copier, you put what you're going to copy in there, you press your timing switch, it ticks away if you set it right. And it, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I can't switch it off now. Oh, 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 how long oh, have we got? Oh dear. Four seconds. Oh, there oh, you go. It. Off she goes. You ten, uh, take it out of here. You've got it in there. You pull out this little device here with all your ground up bits of stuff in it. Take that out. This is already ground up. Now, you pop this in here, like this. <laughs> Press it down. Make sure it, it's firm and home. I want to bust the first one. There you go. Then you. Then you Massage the particles. Oh, that's charged up. They yeah. stick to it. You tap it to get the surplus off. You take it out. You take this plate out. Bob's your uncle. And there you have this little thing. You get a piece of paper and you put it on there. So, and you pop it into... You can do a little touchings up if you want. You, you put it into there, the right, like that. <laughs> Press that. That. Oh! <laughs> Steady. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Can't turn and run. <laughs> and then you can take it out. You have then got a copy. Take your paper off, put that down. You've got a copy and you want to bake it to make it firm. You take it out, put your paper in there, put that in there, put your oven on and you've made one copy in, I think, ah. one minute. 
Today they do about 100 in the same time, but that was a sort of process. I thought I got that pretty well, actually. Me, really? Really? Yeah. I didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can give you two points. Yeah. Yeah. Two points to John and William and one for, for the, the big first xerographic copy made in 1957. Mm. Let's look at the next one. Made in 1905. Eric, this is yours. And you, you're behind. One mm, behind, behind. So you've got uh, a chance a, to get a up. Tool, a hand tool of sorts. Um, you can take this part what out. What does that bit do? You, well, screw. it just allows you to take oh, it out and wash it, I expect, or something. But, um... How it, did you operate it, then? Well, you just squeeze just those, you it. see. For holding something, For holding it? something. Uh, it looks like a thing for pulling carrots up, but I'm sure it isn't. Not carrots. No. <laughs> um, Would it be used outdoors or in a no, factory? No, indoors. Y you'd probably could use this. I could probably use this. Yeah. I could use this. You could probably have made use of it. Of course, any one of us could, but even you could possibly have used that. Would I have used it indoors? Yes. I would. Oh, I don't know. Clipping one's toenails. <laughs> no, no, it, it's a you circular thing. You must have enormous <laughs> toenails. <laughs> a circular thing that goes into there, whatever it is. Yes, I just can't think what I would have used it, it for. It is. Are you sure I would have wanted to have used it? You could well have wanted to use it. Oh. It's a sort of irritating... Cooking? In cooking? Or for, cooking, For no. something personal, to do with oneself? I'm not sure that you actually would have wanted to use it, but sort of thing that you might just have wanted to use. It's almost as bad as my eyelash curlers I used to In do. other words, it's not a thing you'd use in a factory, you would use it in the home. In the home. But would I have used it for me, something to do with me? No, not for you. Or something around the thing that goes home. in there made of metal? Yes. Yes, it might be. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> not for bottle tops, is it? Not for bottle tops. No. Cork? No. What else would one want to answer? One William, yeah. John, I'm surprised an electrical engineer didn't get that. Pass it over to William. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It wasn't made in bottom there. Anyway. Yeah, plugs. The plugs. extraordinary thing is it seems Go to work on. the wrong electric way, plugs. isn't it? Yes. Do you Pulling out electric plugs? Not quite. Uh, holding electric plugs while you fix Not them? Not quite. N very nearly there. Uh. What do you put on electric plugs? It seems Not to work plugs. the wrong way. Sockets. As you screw this, it opens as opposed to closing. So you, you hold that handle, but that doesn't work unless you do this. That's great. Squeeze it up. So you squeeze it together and you adjust the size to hold this circular thing. Which is a plug. Is there. Which is a plug. Uh, wires? No, you've got to do a bit of lateral thinking again. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll try. Yes. Not a... We've got a point for that, though, actually getting the way it works. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not getting the point for that. William, <laughs> would, um, William, would you like to do your trick again? Let's see. <laughs> Oh, it's for unscrewing oh, an electric light plug, yes. taking yes. off this part, is it not? So it's for taking, when you put the shade on, then you want to put that on, or, or for taking it off. Absolutely, it's for taking it's the shades off sockets. This, these often things always hard. get stuck. Yes, they actually, do. Yeah. Me. No, I wish I could have that. It's <laughs> 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 one of marvellous too. I'm going to give you one point for that, because I really did lead you on with it. I even gave them the socket. You're two points behind. Here's your chance to catch up. <laughs> it's a bucket. <laughs> Got a handle to turn it for making Inside wine. It's a cylinder, a metal yes. cylinder which turns. turns. But there's a handle here. Well, that's just for lifting, I should think, isn't it? You see, this there's a little thing here that allows this to come off. Let's take it off. Let's take it right off. So you can ah, you put something inside. Ah, there's a milk churn. Metal, it's milk, is it? This milk, is very close. What do you mean very close? Neither is or isn't milk. It's well, it's sort of... <laughs> <laughs> it says two it's quarts, it must be milk. Powdered two milk. Quarts. Two, two got, quarts. I drink beer in two quart pints. Oh, do you? But it is milk. <laughs> <laughs> it is... is it milk? Well, it's the sort of stuff that might be associated with milk. Um, curds. It's, what? Curds. It's Not for making curd. butter. It's that white stuff that floats on the top. Yes, yes. yes. Whey. Whey. No, the whey. The whey. Cream. Cream. It's called, yes. I do. Anyway, it's, oh, it's for, for churning making cream, for making butter. Yes, it's, a cream no, it's not for making butter. Oh, it's for making cheese. It's not for making cheese either. It's for making butter. Well, you're missing yeah. the whole point of that wooden bucket. That oh, oh, it's, it's for cooling. Cooling. It's a cooling device as well. It's for keeping the. No, for churning cream with ice. Goes in here. Go on. Keep it cool. Go on. Oh, he's had his time. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, no. But, what I mean, are you making with it? Ice cream. Ice well, cream. Yeah. <laughs> I must admit to a little help from Eric. Of course. <laughs> well, I got the ice. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. You we had the ice and the cream, and you got the ice cream. You completely got how it works. You put ice on the outside, you put cream on the yes. inside, those things, scrape That's it cool. around on the thing, it keeps it cool, and it was uh, uh, 1895. One Swedish each. makes ice cream. Well done. I think we'll give one point each to that. <laughs> yes. Now, this is 1964. 
And it's yours, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> 1964. Oh, that. It's American, as you might imagine. You'd wear it. Would you no. wear it? Anatomical. Uh, 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 you wouldn't wear it. No. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Um, oh, it's got a gauge on it. Oh. It's got a thing at this end which. Uh, is it for something to do with well. parachuting? Nothing to do with parachuting. Well, it's got a, a, a sort of gauge here, hasn't it? Like a. Oh, I don't know. It's got a, a what appears to be a digital. It's to tell how many numbers. miles you've walked. No, not for. No, not, not no. a pedometer. No. So, uh, is it like something like that to measuring the number of it's times? It's measuring something. The number of times you've done something. It's, it's measuring so the number of times <laughs> something has done something. Something has done something. And it's an animal. It's a, it, well, I wouldn't have called it an animal, no. It's a bird. Bird, bird yeah. Oh, how, pigeons, for pigeons. What would you do it? What would you use it for, for pigeons? Well, how many miles they've done. <laughs> and time. <laughs> and time. The time they've, they've taken. Time they've taken to do what? Peck. Well, if it's... No, <laughs> For fly, people it's not have pigeons. pigeons, racing pigeons. Well, no, it's not, it's not. Pigeons. I'm sorry. <laughs> the it's head not. comes through there. No, I don't think it does, actually. It doesn't. What else? For you... um, a bird. So the bird... It's a big bird. <laughs> it's quite a big bird, yes. <laughs> what do you think about it Is so it for far? holding them while... Well, you wouldn't need the, you wouldn't need the game. <laughs> for holding them while you ring them, something like that? No, no, no the bird no. operates this. <laughs> no, it, strictly speaking, the bird doesn't operate that. But it gets operated during a process. In the process of whatever of you do. Whatever it is that the bird is doing. And it is well, thank you, Eric. William, would you like to have a look at this? <laughs> yeah, we'd love to have a look at that thing. Yeah, is this a chicken? <laughs> Apart from it helping to let it the legs. It is, yes, it's a hen. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a hen. It's for feeding, is it? Measuring not the number for feeding. Of, the number of times it pecks. No, not for no, pecks. No, no, no. It's got to do a bit of lateral thing in there. You were very nearly there. Yeah, its head goes through there. Not its head. No. <laughs> its wings? <laughs> no, you're upside, it's upside down, is that? You've got to turn it over. Tail. <laughs> it's the number of eggs. It's the number of eggs. It's the number of eggs. It's the eggs. It lays. Yes, the eggs wall off there. Of the yeah. eggs. Yeah. And it no, counts the number of eggs it's laid. Instead of keeping them on wire baskets and watching them fall down, they could walk around with that thing on, and every time it popped an egg out, it ratched one up on the counter. Yes. Want to throw an egg across? <laughs> <laughs> OK. I thought I was getting too challenging for that one. Does it count whether they're cracked or not? <laughs> well, by 11 points to William, 7 to Eric. A triumphant win for you, William. Thank you very much. And that's all for now. So it's goodbye from John Taylor. Goodbye. Valerie Singleton. Goodbye. William Woolard. Goodbye. Eric Laithwaite. Goodbye. And from me, goodbye. <laughs>